if we can take the otter pup and dock with another satellite, that will just be such an incredible moment. For seven decades, spacecraft have been built on Earth with all the material they will ever have access to, folded up and launched into orbit. A spacecraft's life is a lonely one. Satellites live in isolation, waiting for their inevitable demise. Starfish exists to change this paradigm. Building on the heritage of our Otter Pup 1 mission, this summer we're launching Otter Pup 2 to attempt to dock with another satellite in low Earth orbit. The Otter Pup missions pave the way for our full-size otter, bringing us closer to an interactive future in orbit. So one of the reasons why we would even start a startup is we want to make a change. And I think that's a through line for a lot of what Otter Pup is, what Otter is, what Starfish is, is make change. What's unique about our approach at Starfish Space is not the concept of satellite servicing. It's been around for a long time. NASA did satellite servicing missions in the 1980s. What really sets us apart is we're focused on doing satellite servicing missions, both the satellite disposal and the life extension, in a manner that closes the business case for our customers. Spacecraft are hard to understand in terms of dimension, size, scale. And so it's easy for us to describe spacecraft in terms that we use in everyday life. For us, Otter Pup 2 is the size of a microwave. This is a microwave with two cutting boards on either side. That gives you Otter Pup. And that size comes from us taking complex problems that previously were solved with hardware and instead solving them with software. Our software allows us to dock a satellite with just a single thruster, with less than a kilogram of cameras on board the front of the vehicle. And that means our satellite can be an order of magnitude smaller than previous approaches to satellite servicing. So there's actually many milestones when it comes to Otter Pup 2 success. One is actually already happening on the ground now. We have a spacecraft that we feel the architecture can go do the mission. We have software that we believe can go and do the mission. And I think what's really critical about the Otter Pup 2 mission is that we get to gather data about the satellite and our technologies and how it operates. And that's the feedback loop that takes us from, here's a couple of satellites providing a very specific mission right now, as designed 20 years ago, to here is a whole new set of behaviors in orbit where people are living there, they're working there. The industry no longer needs to rely on a single system that is built and bespoke for its case, that it can actually start building on each other. And I think that ties back to the engineering creed, which is go make you know, life better for humans.